Hi everyone and Jeremy, last year I reviewed the Xiaomi Redmi Bud 3 Pro, some earbuds with a lot of function but which had a rather annoying problem in my opinion, we could only access the settings with a Xiaomi smartphone which limited the use for a lot of people. With this Redmi Buds 4 Pro, we now have access to an application that makes them accessible to everyone, which is much more interesting with, among other things, active noise reduction at 43 dB, high resolution audio and other functions that I'll show you in this video. I received these earbuds before the global release being a member of the Mi Influencer on the global Xiaomi community and I have other projects that should arrive pretty soon so think about subscribing and let's start with the unboxing. The earbuds arrives in this white box with all the main functions around, I have the white model here and they also exist in black. Inside there is a USB to USB-C cable for charging, documentation and silicon tips to choose the one that best suits your hair. In my case, I kept the ones that are set by default and in the app you can do an audio test to see if they are well adapted or if they need to be changed to a larger or smaller size. For the case, it is wider but less thick than the previous version. On the front there is a LED to let you know the state, on the back we find the Redmi logo and on the bottom a USB-C port and a button that launches pairing mode by pressing it for 2 seconds. No wireless charging on this model. It's still a classic case, nothing special to say about it, but it's thin enough to put it in a jeans pocket without any problem. If we take a look at the earbuds, the design is different from the previous model, which was more compact, and now they have a more classic design with a stem, and this one has a different coating from the rest to bring an extra touch of design. In my case, I found this new version more suited to the shape of my hair, and I found them more comfortable, they remain light with only 5g per iPhone, but of course, without trying them for yourself, it's hard to know if they will be a good fit for you or not. As said in the intro, on the previous model when it was released, you can only access the settings on Xiaomi smartphones and more specifically those with the latest version of MIUI. That was the big problem for me on this device because even I who had Xiaomi smartphone but older version, I could not enjoy it. This year, they are still compatible with Xiaomi or Poco smartphone, but we do have an app if you want to access it with another model. The Xiaomi Airbus application is available on the Play Store and you can also add other models such as Bud 3T, Pro, Bud 3 or Bud 4. The first advantage of it is that you can clearly see the percentage of remaining battery. This can last up to 36 hours of autonomy in total using the case and up to 9 hours of listening with a single charge and if necessary, a 5 minute recharge allows you to have 2 hours of listening. Of course, the autonomy will vary if you use active noise reduction or not, if you use your LDSC codec, etc. So it will obviously be less than what it is announced and will change depending on the situation. Then we have the different noise reduction modes. It now goes up to 43 dB of reduction, all controllable via three modes, a light mode, a balanced and a deeper mode, but you can also choose to use an automatic mode which will automatically switch between these modes depending on ambient noise with AI. The goal is, for example, to use the light mode in a library, switch to the balance mode outdoors in a park or a cafe, and finally switch to the deepest mode in public transportation. Overall, I found it quite effective in different situations. I don't know if we're really at 43 dB as indicated, but for use like mine, which doesn't take daily transport, it's more than enough. Moreover, there are also two transparent modes, a classic one to hear what is happening around without removing your earbuds, and a second which allows you to let the sound of the voice of the person in front of you pass through. Still in noise reduction, the system has been improved with a metal protection for the reduction of wind noise for sport, in particular with algorithms developed for the occasion which are triggers automatically when running. The headphones are IP54 and therefore resist dust and splashing water, so no worries about sweating but they do not go underwater. For calls this time, they have three microphones to reduce ambient sound and I had no problem with my interlocutors during calls while being outside. So here is a recording made with the earbuds connected to my computer to give you some idea of the mic quality. Of course the end result will vary if you use it during calls or to record video, but it can give you some idea. If we move on to the gesture part, we will be able to customize the touch control which have a few default options by default because we can pause or resume by tapping on it once, tap three times to change songs and keep pressing to change the level noise reduction. It has the detection when you take the hairpiece out of your hair, but via the application you can configure actions to raise or lower the volume or even use a voice assistant. In the audio part you can choose different modes to accentuate the treble or the bass or the voices, the headphones support high edge radio and the LDAC codec if your smartphone supports it and they have a double dynamic driver, one of 6mm in titanium for treble sound and a second of 10mm in aluminium alloy. 
I found the sound pleasing, quite balanced, with still enough bass without too much either. It's detailed enough to hear the different instruments in the music, but as always it depends on what you are used to using and your sensitivity in this area. In my use to watch series or YouTube video and listen to some music when I don't have my headphones around, it's very good for me. This is also where you can activate the immersive song mode to have the impression that the sound is coming from different directions at 360 degrees, so you still have to have an audio source that takes advantage of it, but it's nice to have. For the rest, the headphone is now Bluetooth 5.3, it keeps the double connection mode already present on the previous version, which allows you to connect the earbuds to two devices at the same time, for example, your computer and your smartphone. And if you watch a video on the computer and a call arrive on your smartphone, you'll have the sound of the smartphone directly and no longer that the one of the computer. Be careful, however, if you have received a lot of sound notifications while watching a TV show on the computer, it happened to me and it tended to cut the sound of my video at these times. You just have to think about turning off the song on your smartphone if you don't want to be disturbed for nothing. This system works with Android, iOS and Windows devices which should cover all of your needs and for devices running on MIUI and which are compatible, a pop-up appears when you open the headphone nearby with a nice animation. For latency, it is indicated at 59 milliseconds, which still allows you to play in shooting games without having a sound completely out of sync with the image. It could be better of course, but it's already more pleasant than many Bluetooth earbuds with higher latency. You can also use the application to make updates or also make your earbuds ring if you can no longer find them, while you will have to be in a really quiet environment to hear them because they don't sound very loud. For the price, you can find them at around 70 euros, whether on AliExpress or Trading Shenzhen with shipping from Europe. The links are in the description, and for the price, I found that we still have a lot of interesting functions, whether it's a dual connection system, the noise reduction, the LDIC codec, and now that the application is available for Arborne, I don't think much to blame them for. We will probably find them on sale soon, which will make them even more interesting. Tell me what you think in the comment, and if you haven't seen it already, here is my video of the Xiaomi 12 Lite the smartphone that I use with these earbuds and I'll see you in the next video.